Hi guys. I just had to share this with you. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, but a little bit chilly. Tuesday, December 1st, 2020. So I am out walking the little dog out in an undisclosed location in the middle of nowhere down here in the swamp. And we're about a mile down this trail and I came across this and I was just thinking what in the hell has happened here? I mean it looks like a bulldozer has been down here. I mean torn up the trail. I mean I don't know if you guys can I mean, you, you, I'm sure with this video, you cannot appreciate what uh, I am talking about here. What this is, is wild hogs. Uh, you know, these, these wild hogs, there's been several stories in the news uh, recently about the, the wild hog apocalypse all over this country and uh, sounding a, a little alarming so you get down here I mean they destroy everything uh, I guess they didn't actually uproot this little sweet gum tree although they almost did so what they do is you know they, they just they uproot everything uh, and I'm sure they would rip this little dog from throat to tail and I, I mean they it's just absolute destruction uh, and it's ground nesting birds it's b between the uh, well you got the fire ants on one hand and the wild hogs that ground nesting birds such as bob white quail can't believe brother Aaron still has a bob white quail in his neighborhood I don't know how between the fire ants and the and, and the wild hogs so anything that lays eggs on the ground is a goner they absolutely love eggs and you know and little small plants and stuff so they have these uh, they just had one of these hunts back here just this past weekend where you can come back here I guess you can kill as many of these damn things as you want there <clears throat> they're trying to eradicate them out of this swamp and you can see why uh, but they're, they're never going to get a handle on it you know come back here and shoot as many of these things as you want and there's still people defending the wild hogs yes, little dog. You say, I'm going to kick the wild hogs but anywho I don't know. You draw your own conclusion between uh, <laughs> the wild hog apocalypse and the apocalypse to follow. Now I'm a little bit nervous uh, taking this little dog. He, he would attack a wild hog. He really would. My Brittany Spaniel attacked a wild hog one time and unbelievably she... Uh, live to tell about it so little dog i'm getting nervous about going much deeper into uh these good lord into this moonscape little dog i don't know this is uh making me a little nervous would you come back here please see you, you know this is the trail away from the river so you know, I'm, I'm getting away from alligators, so my little dog won't get eaten by an alligator. And I come up on this for him to get killed by a wild hog instead. But at least I don't think there's any pythons this far north or out on a cold day like this. But uh, I say get out there and enjoy the wild hog apocalypse while well, you still can on this gorgeous first day of December 
Soon to be frost on the pumpkin down here in Florida. It is colder in Florida today than in upstate New York. But it sure is gorgeous. Alright little dog, that's far enough. I'm getting too nervous. Come on now. We gotta go. Let's go. Bye guys.